Welcome to Julie the Thrifty Designer. Okay, I'm going to show you another vignette. It's on my cabinet I have here by my television. It's just this dark cabinet here. And so, I want to show you what I have done up here. So, I'm trying to achieve uh, the old world Tuscan with a little bit of English feel to it. I'm hoping I'm able to blend it so it looks really interesting and I think it's starting to work for me. So let's start over here on the left, okay? I have a plate, this Tuscana, Tuscan uh, plate that my sister-in-law gave me and I have it on a Dollar Tree rack. I just lift it up on a book. And in front of it, the little house, I thought kind of reminded me of a thatch cottage in uh, England and I got that from the Dollar Tree I just bought it just a couple of days ago when I was at the Dollar Tree so I thought you know I think it kind of works it's part of their fairy villages it's just a simple just a little hut type of thing for the fairy villages but I thought when you put it in with your trying to make an English feel to it I thought you know what I think it kind of works it reminded me a little bit of some of those thatched houses because they did grow moss on the roofs there in England. This maybe has a bit much compared to what it would have actually be. I thought, oh, I could always touch up some straw color and make it work that way more too. But I thought, you know, if you're interested in this, at least there's an inexpensive way of uh, coming up with a small little thatched cottage look, if possible. Then this little, uh, I don't know, Demitas or I don't know what is the shot glass type of thing here my mother-in-law gave it to me for Christmas so I just thought it's got the rose on it which is kind of goes along right along with the English look and I thought that looks really English and pretty then I back here have uh, an old world style pot and I just put some plants in it that I got from the thrift store they are literally like this just in a black pot and they were $3.99 they unfortunately they were not on sale but I thought, eh, I'm getting them anyway because they're worth it. Then back here, I got the dollar plate in the background, which is a Charger the Gold one at the Dollar Tree. And then this beautiful iron and old world style thing I just found at the thrift store yesterday. I thought, I got to get it. And it is gorgeous. And so I did. And it was $6.99, not on sale. I was like, oh, I didn't know if I should, but I think I know where I'm going to put it. And it looks great there. Then, of course, this is my beautiful amber. You've seen this before. Again, I got this at the thrift store. And it's just one of my favorite pieces for my old world look. Then I got this from the Dollar Tree. It's supposed to hold a votive in it or something, but it just doesn't look right unless you have a... A, a little tea light and maybe that's fine but votive it's not I am sorry I'm kind of shaky today I'm having issues with my nerves today a little bit so I'm sorry the camera is shaking then I found this beautiful gorgeous plate at the thrift store and it was like two dollars I think I paid for it and that's very English so I put that in there and then I've had this for years it's just like a thing of grapes which kind of reminded me of the Tuscan feel and then behind it oops I don't have it on a plate rack I got to get one but isn't that gorgeous and it kind of hides what I've done by putting this there but it's still it's the layered effect and I thought that's very old world and I had that for a long time and have that at the thrift store as well and I just thought the combination, and I put a little bit of grapes right in there also to fill it. And I, again, just keep my Christmas lights because I love how they look. Then up on top, you know what, hang on, let me get my stepladder so I can show this a little bit better so my arms aren't above my head. Okay, that's a little bit better. I didn't show them to you too much at um, Christmas. I had them up for Christmas and Thanksgiving and so I just decided to leave them up my husband so enjoyed that I had his birds up here I decided to leave them and I thought well they're old world as well as uh, English they both do that so I just put some just I left a little bit of the evergreen on there because I thought it was still fitting but I just put a lot of just everyday type of greenery with it just to look like again walking around through the woods 
Then this beautiful iron piece right here. It's heavy. It's really an iron piece. It's very heavy. I got it from the thrift store. I don't know when I did. Sometime back. I didn't pay much for it. It's like, oh, that's gorgeous. Then I have a picture of, I think that's supposed to be Venice. It's just gorgeous. And then I uh, bring it in a touch more of my red and then my husband's other pheasant. And then I got this sign from the Dollar Tree and then the frame from the thrift store uh, a year or two ago. Faith is not believing that God can, it's knowing that God will. And it's just beautiful. And so I thought this gave a lacy top to the top of just a flat cabinet. So I think it really has come out very beautiful. I think it has a really pretty old world Tuscan with just a little bit of English cottage. I'm not trying to overdo it with the English cottage because I just want it to be a hint of it. But I think it's 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 working. It's really working and I love how it's still very old world. I just like how it looks. So I hope I've given you some ideas as well on how to make your home an eclectic old world feeling. I like it a lot. Now there's another thing I would like to try incorporating, which I just haven't found the right things yet, is maybe to try to see if I can pull in a little bit of French. Not necessarily French country, although that's fine. Just a little bit of that ooh, ooh la la French. I don't know, we'll see if I can come up with some things as I am decorating. But at this moment, I really like what I have here. I think it's really elegant and pretty. And I'm gonna see what I can do to bring in a little bit of the old world French style as well. If I find it at the thrift stores as I go, and I think it'll incorporate, I will give it a try. So, I just want to say to everyone, thank you for watching my videos. And I appreciate you guys so very much. And again, be patient with me as I am, I don't know why, I, I think it's because I'm, I have not been in treatment for a long time for my accident. The insurance cut us off completely. And I still have not been healed. And I'm just, as you can see, I'm shaking. And so it's really tough. I've just, it just seems to be flaring up lately on me. But anyway, I just want to say thank you to all of you again for watching and all your support. And again, please be patient with me and all of you. You take care, and God bless, and happy decorating.